Hey guys, Amp here bringing you another Affinity Designer tutorial, and in this tutorial we'll be going over the grid function and some basic grid settings. Now to access the grid, you're going to come up to the view panel and come down to show grid. And to access some certain preferences for a grid, we're going to come to the grid and access manager again under the view tab. Now, you're going to come up with this dialog box that will give you some settings and options that you can have for your grid. And in here are some of the advanced settings and basic settings for your grid. What you can do is come in and edit the color of your grid here and how light you want to show them up. But as you can see, these are now linked to the same color. So if I edit this, all of these change with your color. And if you want to get that off, you can come over here to the Link Grid Colors option and say you wanted to make it a different color. And you can also show how visible and how light you want that to show up. Now, you can unselect the Automatic Grid tool to come to Advanced. And these are all of your advanced options. Now, these are for really uh, detailed things. You can make um, triangle ones, you can make custom square, you can make oblong ones, a two to one isometric. You have all these options for certain grids and uh, you can play around with them and play around with their axes. But uh, you can just use ba uh, the basic automatic grid for most everyday things. And up here you can show grid and unselect this and make the grid disappear here. So you don't even have to come up to the show grid. You can just come over here and select it in the dialog box. But that is the basics of graphs and graph making. You can just play around to get everything perfect. Now this is really useful for certain things like making a floor plan, making precise measurements, making precise designs that you want everything to be symmetrical and even. Um, it's really useful. You can come and you can change the spacing of it and you can change how many divisions you want. Really, it's up to you. So, you can just play around with the grid, but that's the basics. If you liked that video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo tutorials. Thanks for watching.